Okay. Um, yeah, so, so uh, about 10 years ago, uh, Oceana uh, helped secure some protections for seafloor habitats off the West Coast. Um, we got over 135,000 square miles protected from uh, bottom trawl fishing, which is a type of fishing gear that drags on the, on the seafloor. And the purpose is to protect some of these uh, deep sea habitats. What we, what we discovered in going through that policy process is that the most compelling uh, information was video footage. So most of the seafloor has never been seen before with human eyes, right? Scuba diving can only go down maybe a couple hundred feet at the most, and then you basically have a huge uh, another planet down there, right? So the idea is if we can start providing more uh, photos and images and bring some of the, the dark deep sea to the light of day and actually show this to policymakers, that can be a really effective tool uh, to compel uh, governments to actually protect some of these areas before they're damaged. And many of these uh, deep sea corals can be hundreds to thousands of years old, so if they are damaged, in many cases, it's, it's really an irreversible impact, uh, not something that can recover. Uh, learned about some of the, and seen some of the footage that Mbari was taking, uh, you know, deep sea in the canyon here, um, but we, 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 we didn't want to just wait for a bunch of other scientists or governments to try to go down there. We were like, can we do this ourselves? And so we worked uh, with our office in Chile, who had uh, actually hired an engineer who built these remote operated vehicles. It's about the size of a, of a beer cooler. Um, and we had it shipped up all the way from Chile. Uh, it was, it, and then it, 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 they shipped it to the East Coast first. This was right around the time of the Deepwater Horizon oil spill. So they used it out there. And then we, we, had, we basically got a, a sailboat, the Derek M. Bayless. So it was this you know, research uh, sailboat that normally just took tourists around to take them on whale watching trips. Uh, and, but it had an A-frame and so we were like, let's, let's see if we can use this. And so some of our staff drove this remote operated vehicle all the way across the country in a U-Haul. And the, you know, the question was, could, could this work? Could we actually do it? And so we, we got the remote operated vehicle, the ROV, and we loaded it up on the boat. You know, took about a day or, day or so to get it all set up and see if it would work. So yeah, so we were just learning how to use this thing. Uh, it reminds me of like an old video game system. It's got these little joysticks on it, and uh, you know, and, and we're we're basically kind of putting this thing out there, and really feeling like we're astronauts. We're we're kind of going and exploring, you know, the depths, and it's amazing. It's like it's it's right here. It's the backyard of all these people that live around Monterey Bay. All these people that you know that come here to go whale watching, but. It's the perfect disguise. It's gorgeous, but you can't. You have no idea what's down there, and and so you know, having scuba dived for a while, I knew that the kelp forests were really, um, you know, an, an, an amazing ecosystem. These these undersea cathedrals that we have just right off Cannery Row, um, some of the most spectacular spots I've ever been. You know, I've been around the world scuba diving, and then go right here at home and it's like some of the most amazing stuff you've ever seen. Um, so we were just thrilled to kind of go down to some of these canyons and we, we learned all about you know places that have already been explored but we really wanted to go to the spots that no one had been yet. And so we got all these amazing maps showing these big huge pinnacles and reefs and canyons and you know we went out uh, you know right off Point Pinos and all around the peninsula and basically tried to put this, you know, this ROV and see could we even do it? Can we get footage of this stuff? And I have to say, you know, we, we started out and we kind of went to some of the shale beds and some of these reefs just right off the coast here. And we got the ROV down and once we, once we could actually see the footage from this thing, our minds were just blown, right? I mean, you've got, you know, huge teeming reefs, teeming with life. You know, rockfish hiding in crevices, octopus scurrying around, and some of the corals and sponges, I mean, they're, they're just like bright pink, bright purple, and, you know, fish swarming around them, and it's just like, whoa! And then we, then we start going deeper and deeper, and we went down into Carmel Canyon, uh, which comes out here, and we're just looking at vertical cliffs, and every little hole had these little eyes poking out, 
and you know it just the more we would go explore you know the more fascinating things that you would never expect that you'd see just surprise after surprise and you know just you know crazy tube worms and sponges and then we'd go over and we'd see these things um, called matridium anemones they look like gigantic cauliflowers like this big and just there'd be rocks just covered in hundreds of these things and then you look a little closer and there's all these you know there's lingcod right you know nestled inside there hiding and small little fish and small little snails and it was you know it's just like this fantastic unimaginable ecosystem that's there that no one ever sees and so it's it's pitch black you've got these amazing things and so here we are with this you know spaceship basically going down there with these big lights and getting this video for the first time and the, the ability to then show people what it looks like down there i mean a lot of people think oh well it's just the shallow stuff and the deeper you go it's just gonna be a bunch of mud the deeper you go here the more fantastic it is and that's i think one of the you know one of my favorite wildlife experiences is just to kind of start seeing all these amazing fish we we discovered um uh, fish that right off Point Lobos that no one even knew existed here. They thought the the, the furthest south that it was was um, you know hundreds of miles to the north, and we're discovering species and improving the understanding you know just real basic of what even exists here. What what species do we have? And the fact that just you know going on a few dives you can see some of that stuff is just absolutely amazing. Um, one of my one of my favorite dive sites is the Carmel Pinnacles, and you know we we uh, you can dive down to the top of these pinnacles. The top's about 80 or 90 feet, and um, you can dive down there, but you can't stay down there very long, and you can't go a whole lot deeper. And so we went out there. It's it's one of these newly protected marine reserves, and we brought this thing lower and lower and deeper and deeper down, uh, and, you know, into the dark parts, the the deep part of the pinnacles, and you know some of these walls it's just like a, a, a wall that is just 100 percent covered you can't even see the rock it is just it, it's like a garden of living animals you know just covering the entire rock and there'll be like vertical walls that are hundreds of feet high and you know just bright pink strawberry anemones and you know purple nudibranchs and you know bright yellow sponges and you know then beautiful corals you know like big huge sea fans down there and it's you know it's it's absolutely just a fantastic world and you know we just get these small little glimpses um, but the fact that we were able to actually get a remote operated vehicle drop it off the back of a, sa of a sailboat right here in Monterey and see things that nobody's seen before I mean, that's spectacular.